Hello, hello, this is Kara, and I'm here with a e-club kit for September. All right, so let's jump in and check it out. Okay, first we have Breast Pewter Distress Paint. Well, that's fun. I do not have this color, and it's fun and shiny. <laughs> So that'll be fun. Some white, uh, I think this is seam binding, and a label, and then this um, pocket, double pocket, I think 49 and Market. They have these um, binder things that you can make, uh, like, not folios, but, you know, memory keeping books. <laughs> Hearts are hard, I don't know. And then this is the paper pack. Uh, vintage artistry everywhere. Really cool. Lots of travel. Great if you're doing something for um, summer vacations. And then we have some smaller sandwich bags. Great for little journals. And then we have some other little pieces. You probably have different pieces than I do. It's a fun little file folder. And this is exciting. Clipping sticker book. How fun is that? Tons of little phrases and sayings. Really cool. And then we have a light blue paper. Some fun, I'm not sure what kind of paper this is, but it's fun thinner paper. And then like a navy. And then Edith's 10 digitals. I think I printed double sided. They coordinate with the paper pad, so we'll go through those. Here we are, there's flowers and little ledgers. Six, eight, ten. Yeah, there's ten of the digitals that you can print from the Scrapbooking With Me website. And so I'm thinking, I haven't made a three ring or a ring binder, or just a ring, not a binder, but a ring journal in a long time. They also sent as an extra goodie um, this pack from the Vintage Orchard. And then some previous kits and things that I've purchased from 49 and Market. Like this was from a previous kit. This might have been something that they sent me. But I know that I purchased one or two of the or these. I was thinking I can use these older vintage or 49 and Market things in a ring journal. So that is kind of what I'm thinking. And then I'll use these embellishment packs to decorate. All right. So I will be right back once I get ready. <laughs> All right. So I have selected my pages. I'm going to double up <clears throat> two of the pages and this will be the cover. This one is from the back sheet. So I'm going to cover this up with another page and that will be like my front cover. And I'm going to make this a pocket, I think, or maybe like a pocket on this side. And then these will be the pages. I think those look really cute together. I love the oranges next to each other. And then this is going to be my back cover. So this is also like the front page of the set and then I took another page and that will be the back. So what I'm going to do first, I'll set my inside pages aside like that, and then I'm going to get my tape. Oops, I think I took the Yeah, so I want to take this and I'll tape the three sides. Make sure it's right side up. <laughs> I'll tape this. And then 
this will be a large pocket. Before I tape it down, I'm going to get my thumb notch. Eyeball the center. Center ish. I guess I should ink it. Before I tape it down. This is a great beginner journal if you are not so sure about binding, but you want to make a junk journal. This is a great. I'm going to put the tape side up and then I'll put some ink on this one. This is a great starter journal. And it's a great way to use up, um, like I have all those packages that I haven't used with ephemera. And they're not exactly the same set, but the nice thing about 49 and Market is they do pretty, they coordinate quite a bit. Some of them not as much, of course, but um, I think the sets I have pulled out will work. Alright, there we go. And then that will be a nice large pocket. Make sure that is stuck down. And I'll punch my holes in a minute, but let's do this one. Gonna do a hole here, the thumb notch here. And ink up my corner my edges. these up and then we'll punch our holes and have our rings ready. I'll be right back. Okay, all inked up. I'm going to use a page from my Elizabeth Craft Designs um, planner to, put, to mark where my holes are going to go. So I just took a pen and I marked two. I think I'm just going to use two rings instead of three for this. And now I can use this as my guide. punch my holes and then I can line these up and then do the same. And then I can just go through all of my pages punching the holes. Okay, now that all of the holes are punched, I can add my rings. Maybe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then the fun part, we'll decorate. Oh my goodness. Sheesh.
Good grief. Be right back. Okay, I have a couple things um, throughout the, the book that I want to decorate with. So I paper clipped them on. And let's give this a go. So I thought this film strip piece would be cute on the top. And I think I'm just going to tape it. these pieces. So in the where is it? I think I'm gonna take out this bag. And this piece of paper just to give some different texture. I'm gonna rip a little bit of this. be a pocket. So I'm just going to tape three sides. That looks cute on the cover. Right, and then let's see. And this pocket for the inside cover, and plus we have that big pocket. Two pieces that we can put in. That. Then over here, this came from the same pack of the transparencies as the film strip. And it'd be fun to put a picture behind here. Let me go find something to put in there to, as a placeholder and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have these coffee dyed papers. And this isn't quite what I had in mind, but I think it fits perfectly. 
So I'm going to go ahead and tape this in so it's going to be more than a placeholder. <laughs> a little tape. And then I'll just trim off the extra. Baker's twine to the tag. And then we have this for this corner. And this one, I think I will leave three sides or do three sides, keep one open. And then I could put a picture in here. A little ink though. tag is perfect if you have like just a little bit of journaling to do. Since I put the, I really want that to go here. Mm. There we go. All right. I think I'm going to uh, set the rest uh, fast forward so you can see it, but a little bit faster speed. Okay, let's take a little flip through of my little ring binder. I put a tag 
here in the front. And I put another tag along with some ephemera in that pocket. And I added this. And I added just this right here. This would be great for journaling, pictures for a travel, you know, some vacation. We did this together. I also added tabs so we could add a little journaling there. I added this little flip here. And this one is a transparency. Just a little cluster in the bottom. <clears throat> added this little tab up here. And then put some things in the pocket. This one kind of swivels. I think it'd be fun to tuck a picture behind there. So those just kind of tuck in here. And then this piece of ephemera is there. And then I found this cute little envelope would be cute to put a picture in as well and here's another tag that I made and I put a tag on this side and this has a little pocket fun to put actual tickets from the trip in here this is for some journaling and a picture could go here here a great place for a picture I added the file folder perfect for journaling and pictures same with right here I thought this was cute. Great, put a little picture or journaling there, some postage stamps, and in the back, ah, I just added this little piece of ephemera. So there's my quick little ring binder. Perfect for a traveling journal. All right, I will have the e club kit. Um, information below if you're interested in signing up for next month. And as always, I hope you have a wonderfully crafty day. Bye-bye.